Darling, you send me. I know you send me. Darling, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the video. So if you guys are new, my name is Mike. In this video, we're going to be working on the fair lady. And as you guys can see, we got a box from Drift Dialect. So shout out to them for uh, helping me out with this wing. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up. We're gonna take it out, lock it up on the Z and see what we kind of have to do. I've heard that we have to take out this wing, but we don't necessarily have to take the badges off, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's see what we have to do. All right, so let's see what we have in here. This is the wing. Oh, it already comes with 3M tape, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so this part was out a little bit. Hopefully it wasn't damaged, but it does look all good. Guess my dad's working on the legacy wagon out there. Another car from Japan. Same with this one. This looks sick. All right, so this is how it kind of sits. Obviously, it's gonna be more flush with bottom of the trunk since we do have to remove the wing underneath. Overall, the quality of this wing is actually pretty good. I've ordered some fiberglass parts before for the Evo, and it doesn't really fit so well. This one has like a pretty smooth finish. It did say unpainted, but finish honestly is pretty even, and it's kind of satin, so it kind of matches the roof and the eyelids and the other stuff that we did. So it might actually work out like this just for now, just unpainted because it is kind of satin and looks pretty good. I'm pretty sure it is a super easy install. It actually is pretty cool that they have their own like logo into the fiberglass. It's actually really sick. And I'm pretty sure you just put the 3M tape that was given in the box all around here. I would try not to leave any cracks just so moisture doesn't come in. I might put silicone or something like that because there are two holes underneath this wing if you guys have this wing and you don't want any moisture getting stuck in there because then it's going to rust out your trunk and that's just super, super bad. All I need to do is basically take this wing off, take the badging off and just stick it on. I think that's it. All right, so step one for this install is obviously clean the mounting surface with this uh, window cleaner. I'm gonna clean this off to get rid of all the dust and dirt that was on it. And you can also, if you guys want, you can also clean this part here with wax and grease remover just so the 3M tape sticks a lot better. Once you're done cleaning it, you're gonna to have to open up the hatch. All right, so once you clean the top side where the wing is gonna mount, you're gonna remove this plastic panel here. It is kind of sketchy to remove if this is your first time, but it's just all pinned, so you just kind of have to commit. We did is we took it off here, and we kind of just wedged it all the way to the middle, and then did the other side all the way to the middle, and then the whole thing kind of just drops. And there are two bolts, one here and one here. When you're removing it, try to close the hatch. It would be cool if you had like a friend or something to hold the hatch while you remove it. And make sure the hole is just parallel with the ground. What I'm trying to say is, when you, if you drop the nut, the nut isn't gonna fall into the hatch because once that's in there, it's just, it's like impossible to get the nut out. So if you do it this way and if you drop the nut, at least it drops straight down and not into the hatch. And same with the other one. Once you get those two bolts in, the wing should just pretty much pop off. Kind of commit. Super sketchy is not a good feeling thing. It literally feels like you're breaking your car. Then I think there's two at the back here. All right, so if you're lucky, you would be able to get all of these clips still like on this thing here. These clips just kind of slide off. If you broke these clips, it's not too, too bad. It's not the end of the world. Before um, going to the dealer, which they would definitely have these clips, I would advise going to like a pick and pull or like a wrecker or a junkyard that has cars that have these clips. You can find these clips in like some door panels of all model Nissans. These are off G35s in the door panel. So these ones basically replace these. They're the exact same. All you need to do is slip them on. Now you have a brand new clip and you don't have to spend like five bucks at the dealership to uh, get you a new one. Just kind of go straight down and you got the nut off. If it fell, it would just fall straight down. And you just do the same to the other side. So now that we got all the nuts off, or both of them, this thing should just lift up. So I guess there are two clips in the center too that I forgot about, but yeah. 
And believe it or not, this wing actually feels a little bit heavier than the Drift ILX one. So the Drift ILX one is actually really, really light. Oh, so we have to remove the badge here at the bottom. All right, so nothing's really holding it. It does stay on, although I'm gonna have to remove the Fair Lady badge. So I do have to remove the Fair Lady badge here because it is interfering with the area that it mounts onto. The Nissan badge, I don't think it affects the Nissan badge at all, so I can leave that on, but definitely the Fair Lady badge has to go. Also, to take off the original wing, I did forget to mention that it was super easy for me because we removed it before, but usually from the factory, if you haven't removed it, there is like a 3M tape. You can go back and watch my other video when we did the facelift on it. What we used was fishing wire and we kind of cut as much as we could and then we kind of wedged it out, but we didn't put any 3M tape on the original one since we knew that we were going to remove this wing anyways and replace it with this one. That's that's why it was a lot easier for me to remove it the second time. Right now, I'm just using this medium duty rubbing compound to remove all of this like residue here. This side kind of looks like this side. You can kind of see where the old wing is. With the Drift Dialex one, you kind of do see some of this. So I'm just removing the whole thing. I might be planning on wrapping this car later on anyway. So it's good that we remove this and make this all smooth. So at least when we wrap, it's going to be a lot quicker and a lot smoother. So now that we have all of the residue pretty much off, except for this part, which uh, we'll be covered by the wing anyways and it kind of looks clean i'm gonna go ahead and remove the fair lady z badge with some dental floss i don't have fishing lines so next best thing is dental floss so again it is gonna fit a little bit better since it doesn't have any adhesive behind it but once we, oh, i don't know if it's hitting the nissan badge it might Right now, we're gonna go ahead and put this tape to seal up the hole just so if any moisture does go in, it doesn't start rusting the hatch because that would really suck because it looks like it's gonna rain and that always sucks. I'm gonna have to leave the residue here on, unfortunately, until we wrap the car or we can take it off another time when the wing comes off again. You don't necessarily have to remove the Nissan badge, but the wing was kind of resting on it, so I would recommend it. You don't see it when the wing is on anyways, so we're gonna go ahead and put the 3M tape on this wing, mount it on, and then, uh, yeah, Shakira has a new wing. So now that we have all the 3M tape around, we tried making it all in one piece. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna peel off a little bit of the 3M tape, mount it on, and then once it's mounted on, we can just peel all the backing of it and it's gonna be like all even and perfect and stuff. So I'm gonna be holding it and my dad's gonna be lining it all up. Once we feel like it's all like lined up and perfect, we're gonna pull the 3M backing out and then uh, yeah, it's gonna be on the car. The other one too, just in case it, uh... Oh shit, you It's starting to rain now. <laughs> God what damn it! It's on! Of course, as soon as we're installing something with tape, that's when it starts raining. Alright, so yeah, it is starting to rain. But the good news is we got the wing on already. My dad and I are just cleaning up everything, so I'll show you guys the car once we finish buttoning everything up and putting the interior back on. So now that the wing is on, here's how it looks. I think this wing looks better than the rocket bunny one the rocket bunny to me it's just kind of too flat this way this one at least you have like a little bit of a actually a lot of a ducktail and i think it looks really really good i'm not too sure on what other air i'm gonna do on this car since this is again like a daily i'm gonna have to drive this winter time and if you guys are from canada you know how bad our winters could get but overall fitment isn't too bad again it's nothing like oem that just fits right on 
but it is a lot better than any of the wings that you would get on eBay since you get what you pay for and this wing is I think on the better side of fiberglass after putting on the wing we just kind of massage the wing where the 3m tape was just so it sticks and adheves 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 whatever kind of massage it to make the 3m kind of fit better too bad it did kind of rain a little bit but I'm pretty sure the 3m is gonna stick and uh, I'm glad it wasn't like white or like a matte black it does kind of match the satin black of the roof and the eyelids that we did in the previous video if you guys can see that definitely check it out I was thinking about making it like silver but my dad has a point it does look pretty good black so I guess I don't really have to paint it but yeah it looks pretty good I really like this wing again shout out to Drift Dialex for sending it out to me and uh, yeah here's a little edit of the wing Now that we have the wing on, I hope you guys like it as much as I do. It's all the time we have for today and I hope this video was kind of educational in a way on how we installed this wing. I really like it. I think it makes the car look more aggressive and have more of a sleek kind of Mustang like first generation Mustang Fastback-esque look. I don't know. That's kind of the, the vibe I get from it. I don't know if that's weird or different or against the JDM culture or whatever. I don't know. I just really like this wing. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys did, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and join the Annie Perfect Society. Peace out and make it happen.